JLR investigates. I am covering the Veronica Butler, Jillian Kelly case. All the plot thickens, ladies and gentlemen, regarding this woman right here. 54-year-old Tiffany Adams arrested along with three others in connection with the murder and kidnapping of Veronica and Jillian. Oh, the affidavit of probable cause. I don't know if you guys read it on this woman, but it is very graphic. It's very disturbing. It's very shocking. And uh, it's pure evil, folks. I want to share some information, though, because it seems like this whole situation on what happened to Veronica and Jillian was premeditated. And Tiffany Adams here, along with her co-defendants, plotted these two victims, or at least plotted Veronica, and Jillian just happened to be there at the wrong place at the wrong time, it looks like. One week prior to when these two women vanished, Tiffany here purchased some stun guns from a local store in Guymon, Oklahoma. I'm going to share some information that was in the affidavit of probable cause. So this is a part in the probable cause affidavit for the arrest of Tiffany Adams. OSBI investigation showed that Adams searched for gun shops on her cellular phone. A search of a local gun shop showed Adams buying five stun guns at the Big R store in Guymon, Oklahoma. The purchase was made on March 23rd, 2024. So she purchased five stun guns, ladies and gentlemen. Five. Five stun guns, folks. Five stun guns. Now, it's very interesting considering that four people got arrested, right? Cora and Cole uh, Twombly, Toombly, some people say different names of their last names. I've never been able to pronounce it, right? T-W-O-M-B-L-Y. So, a couple, right? Cole and Cora. Tad Colum and the fourth one, Tiffany Adams. But why would she want to purchase five stun guns when there was only four arrested? Very, very interesting, right? Well, according to Cora and Cole's 16-year-old daughter, who will we will call CW, that was listening to the affidavit of probable cause, she name drops five people. She name drops the four, but she also name drops a fifth person. Check it out. So in the Tiffany Adams affidavit of probable cause, it states that authorities spoken with a CW, who is the 16-year-old daughter to Cora and Cole. And I'm going to read what this says right here. CW, the daughter, described Cora, Cole, Adams, Cullum, and a Paul Grice as being part of an anti-government group that had a religious affiliation. Through OSBI investigation, it was learned that they call their group God's Misfits. Regular meetings are held weekly at uh, Twombly's and the home of Barrett and Lacey Cook. Who is this Paul Grice guy? It looks like he might be the fifth person. Let me know what you think. Who in the world is Paul Grice? Paul Grice, that's the first time I ever heard that name. Was he involved with this plot? And is he involved? Was he or is he or did he back out? Or is he part of this and authorities haven't arrested him yet? You buy five stun guns, multiple amounts of burner phones, and CW name drops this Grice. They're all part of a group called God's Misfits. Yeah, they're misfits. And they don't represent God to me, right? They don't live in God's, uh, we're not going to go religious on JLR Investigates. But let me show you the store where uh, Tiffany bought these stun guns. They're a pretty reasonable price. Check it out. So this is the website for Big R Stores. One of the locations is in Guymon, Oklahoma. Tiffany Adams purchased five stun guns. March 23rd, 2024, from Big R Stores. And on their website, they do sell a stun gun. This is the only one they sell. It's called the Sabre Pepper Spray and Stun Gun Defense Kit. 
And it looks like this is probably the type of stun gun she purchased. It's the only one on their webpage that I saw. It is for $34.99. Uh, available online and probably most likely in stock at locations. What's interesting is Tiffany Adams bought five of them, folks. Five of them. Only four have been arrested. Let me know what you think. Five stun guns. Premeditation all the way. Unless she was going to use the stun guns for something else. But who buys five stun guns before they commit murders and kidnappings? Who would do that? And that's usually what happens with these criminals, ladies and gentlemen. Before they commit the crime, I'm talking about the premeditated ones. This clearly is premeditation. Read the affidavit of probable cause. They've been plotting Veronica since February. They were going to go up to Kansas and do some harm to her there. But usually these criminals always buy the, the, the weapons or the, the, the devices they're going to use to do the commission of the crime days or weeks before the crime is committed. And it looks like that is the situation with here. Stun guns, burner phones, yeah, premeditated all the way. So it's most likely this case is going to be a capital case. Uh, praying for the victims, praying for everyone that is involved with this uh, case. And kudos to law enforcement for working round the clock and solving this case relatively quick. Uh, this is a terrible, terrible tragedy. The bodies were found on a remote property. property. The Beasleys, Jamie Beasley. Um, it's a male, by the way. I reached out to the uh, people uh, that are affiliated with the Beasleys, Beasleys, a male named Jamie Beasley. But they solved this with two weeks. So kudos to them. Uh, the community could be at the, uh, ease. And now monsters are off the streets. What's going to happen here? I think it's a death penalty case. Do you subscribe to the channel, like, hit the notification button. Wanted to share that information. When more information comes out, when more affidavits about the other jokers, the three other people, or if there's another person about involved, maybe the fifth person, maybe there is no fifth person, maybe that fifth person with that that was going to get that extra stun gun, maybe they cooperated with authorities, maybe they were an informant, maybe they uh, got cold feet at the last second, maybe they came up with their senses at the last second and said, no way, I'm not going to get involved with this, who knows, or maybe she just wanted to buy an extra stun gun just in case one of the four lost one of their stun guns, or maybe the stun guns are not related to this case, but I'm thinking they are, right? I'm thinking they are, and uh, we're going to get more details out of this case. We will talk soon. I am JLR Investigates. Be safe.